It's umsum time. How does a light bulb glow? Simple. It glows because of umsum's brightness. Oh, <laughs> umsum. To buy umsum merchandise, visit umsum.com. <laughs> A light bulb glows because of the principle of conversion of energy, which states that energy is converted from one form to another. In this case, electrical energy is converted to heat plus light. Let us see how this happens. When we switch on the bulb, electricity starts flowing. This electricity, or the flow of electrons, is hindered by the filament of the bulb. The filament is usually made of tungsten, as it has a high melting point. A long and thin filament wire offers higher resistance to the flow of electrons. Hmm. Now this hindrance to the flow of electrons leads to the creation of friction, which causes the filament to heat up and start glowing. So this is how a light bulb glows. Hmm. What if bulbs and tube lights disappeared? Huh. No problem. I will reveal my inner glow and light everything up. <laughs> oh, um, some. Firstly, if bulbs and tube lights disappeared, entire world will go almost dark <gasps> after sunset. Mm. Secondly, if bulbs and tube lights disappeared, driving after sunset, as in without street lights, would become extremely dangerous. Mm. Thirdly, if bulbs and tube lights disappeared, people will really look forward to full moon day as nights will be <laughs> much brighter on that day. Fourthly, if bulbs and tube lights disappeared, huh? people might go back to using candles at night. Mm. Lastly, if bulbs and tube lights disappeared, people might say goodbye to late night work as well as partying. Huh? Mm. On the flip side, firstly, if bulbs and tube lights disappeared, electricity bills will come down for everyone. Mm. Lastly, people will start constructing homes which make ah. better use of natural sunlight. Mm. Topic, ignition temperature. Why does a match light when you strike it? <laughs> huh? Why don't you use a match instead? <laughs> You'll be able to light the bonfire easily. <laughs> nah, I don't believe you. Try it. Hmm. <laughs> Look, I told you. Dude, that was awesome. This happened because of low ignition temperature. Ignition temperature is the lowest temperature at which a combustible substance starts burning. Lower the ignition temperature, more easily will it catch fire. Now, a match head contains antimony trisulfide and potassium chlorate. <sighs> Enough. I know how to use it now. No, the match will not light on any surface. Hmm. The rubbing surface of a matchbox has powdered glass and red phosphorus. <laughs> on striking the match against it, friction is caused. Friction oh. generates heat, converting red phosphorus to white phosphorus. Hmm. White phosphorus has a very low ignition temperature. It immediately ignites in air producing heat and light, mm. thus beginning the process of combustion. The heat produced breaks down the potassium chlorate present in the match head, releasing more oxygen. This oxygen combines with antimony trisulfide, which is also in the match head and keeps the flame burning. <laughs> Topic, light and sound. Oh. Hmm? Why do we see lightning before thunder? Hmm? Don't go out tonight, a huge storm is coming. <laughs> Look at the weather outside. <laughs> See, there's a huge lightning strike. Hooray! Now, very soon, you're going to hear some thunder. <laughs> I told you. Mm. Don't get scared. It's just thunder. Do you know why you saw the lightning before you heard the thunder? Mm? I will tell you. Mm. An interesting fact is that lightning and thunder occur at the exact same time. Then why do we see lightning first? Mm. This is because a light travels faster than sound. 
The speed of light is 300 million meters per second, while the speed of sound is only 340 meters per second. <laughs> Thus, the light from the lightning travels much faster to our eyes. As a result, we first see the lightning, shortly followed by the sound of thunder. <laughs> Topic: Earthing. Why do buildings have lightning rods? I know, they are used to dry clothes. <laughs> Nah, huh? they are used for earthing. Earthing means digging the earth, right? No, earthing is the process of transferring charge from a charged object to the earth. It is done with the help of this lightning rod. A lightning rod is a metal rod whose lower end is fixed to a copper plate buried <laughs> deep in the earth while upper end has spikes. But why is it called a lightning rod? Huh? This is because it protects us from lightning. Lightning is a flow of massive charge. <laughs> it can damage huh? an entire building and harm the people living in it. Hence, to protect them, the <laughs> lightning rod transfers the massive charge from the lightning to the earth safely. <laughs> what happens if a plane huh? is struck by lightning? It will start glowing like a disco ball. No, lightning is a massive oh. flow of charge <laughs> which carries thousands of volts of electric current. Thus, it is extremely fatal for living beings and can damage anything that oh. comes in its way. Yeah, dude. It is really terrifying. Now, many times, airplanes get caught in a heavy lightning storm. However, airplanes are designed to handle the lightning oh. strikes. The outer skin of most planes is primarily <laughs> made of aluminum. Aluminum is a good conductor of electricity. Hmm. When lightning hits the airplane, the electric current travels through the outer skin of the plane. It does not pass <laughs> into the plane. Eventually, it exits oh. off through another extremity, such as tail. Thus, the airplane and the passengers within remain protected. <laughs> huh? Can we travel faster than the speed of light? Yes, the Star Trek guys can travel faster than light. Yeah, yeah. Now listen. Our universe is very big. It consists of numerous galaxies, stars, planets, etc. However, until now, we are able to examine only a few of them. So, in order to cross vast distances and explore distant places, we need to travel very fast. Now, it is observed that nothing can travel faster than the speed of light, which is about 186,282 miles per second. This means light from Earth will take only 1.3 seconds to reach the moon. Let's compare this to the Apollo 11 spacecraft that took 75 hours and 56 minutes to just enter the orbit of the moon. So, imagine if we could travel faster than light, then space travel would be so easy. We could time travel and even see our future. However, traveling faster than light is impossible. Do you know why? According to Einstein's theory of relativity, to move an object, we require energy. Now, to make this moving object move faster or speed up, we require even more energy. So, what do you think? How much energy will be required to make an object move at the speed of light? If we again refer to the Einstein's theory of relativity, we can conclude that it will require an infinite amount of energy to make an object move at the speed of light. But looking at the current situation, neither do we have the necessary resources nor do we have the technology to produce an infinite amount of energy. Hence, we cannot travel at the speed of light or faster. Moreover, just like a sonic beam is produced by an object traveling faster than sound, similarly, a huge amount of radiation will be produced by an object traveling faster than light. This radiation can lead to serious consequences. Hence, it is impossible to travel faster than the speed of light. Hmm. Hmm. 
Huh? <laughs> Topic: Nuclear fusion. Huh? Why is nuclear fusion not used uh -huh. to generate electricity? You really want to know the answer to this, right? <laughs> but wait. Before answering the question, let us understand what is meant by nuclear fusion. Huh? When two lighter huh? nuclei combine to no. form a heavy huh? nucleus, a large amount of energy huh? is released. Huh? This process is huh? called nuclear fusion. Oh. Hmm? Where does this nuclear fusion take place? You think huh? that it takes place in a laboratory? <laughs> <laughs> no. Hmm. You are hmm? absolutely wrong. Huh? Nuclear huh? fusion takes place oh! in the sun. The nuclei of two hydrogen huh? atoms join together to form a heavy nucleus of helium with the release of a large amount of energy. How do you think this energy reaches us? Ah. Nah. It does not reach us through power lines. Wait, I will tell you. The energy huh? released after nuclear fusion reaches us in the form of sunlight, ultraviolet radiations, heat, etc. Oh. Huh? Hey, but we're already producing electricity oh. with the help of nuclear fission. So, huh? why do we require mm. nuclear fusion? For this, oh. you need to first understand <laughs> the difference huh? between nuclear fusion oh. and nuclear fission. <laughs> As we already know, nuclear fusion is the fusion of two lighter nuclei with the release of a large amount of energy. The exact opposite process happens in nuclear fission. Here, a heavier nucleus splits into two lighter nuclei, releasing a large amount of energy. This process of fission is used in nuclear power plants, where a heavy nucleus of uranium is split into lighter nuclei. The energy that is released in this is used to generate electricity. Oh. However, there is a major disadvantage of huh? nuclear fission. Oh. Wondering what it is? Mm. The major disadvantage huh? is that uranium is a radioactive element. When uranium undergoes oh. fission, it generates radioactive huh? waste along with energy. This radioactive waste is very harmful for most life forms and the environment. Hence, huh? we need to find oh. a clean and safe source of energy to hmm? generate electricity. Hmm. Huh? What source oh. would that be? Hmm? Would it be nuclear fusion? <laughs> Bingo, Hooray! you are right. Huh? Then huh? why are we not harnessing hmm? the energy of nuclear fusion to produce hmm. electricity? This huh? is because for nuclear fusion, oh. two conditions are required. Oh! They huh? are high pressure and high temperature. Only when these huh? conditions are met oh. can the two nuclei travel at very high speeds huh? resulting in collision. Mm. Huh? On mm? Earth, huh? it is extremely difficult to create such high pressure huh? and temperature. <laughs> Even if we are somehow able to create these conditions, huh? the question is how will we control them? Oh. As there mm? are many questions huh? unanswered and unsolved, mm? we have not yet mm. succeeded huh? in using nuclear fusion in the production of mm. electricity. Hmm?